Hey, what's going on everybody? Coach Matt, EliteThrowsCoaching.com, Primal Athlete Training Center, Cranston, Rhode Island. So we are on week two of our spring season of our online team training. As you all saw before the video, I know we've got coaches on here that are from all around the country as part of this team. Our camp dates have been announced. Our overnight camp in Pennsylvania is going to be at Allegheny College once again. It's out near Erie, PA. It's actually in uh, Meadville, PA. And that's gonna be July 9th, 10th, and 11th. But we also have one sooner than that for people in the New England area. We're gonna be at Wareham, Mass, which is sort of near the Cape, sort of on the way to the Cape, as we say here in Rhode Island. And that is going to be on April 11th. So we have a little bit less than a month until that happens. So if you're interested, check out the links below and get signed up and work with me and have your athletes work with me in person. All right, so as you saw last week, week one, we were really trying to build up an athlete's work capacity. And the way I like to explain work capacity, because we had a lot of athletes and we had a lot of uh, coaches that were asking, is our goal is not to build endurance like a distance runner. Our goal is to build up the amount of hard work that your athletes can do over a given period of time. The way to think of it, the way that I always like to think of it, is like a car. If you look at an auto, you are basically not trying to get your athletes to be more fuel efficient. So if you had a car and it had a 20 uh, gallon gas tank and it got 40 miles to the gallon, that's pretty good. That's 800 miles to a tank. 40 miles to gallon, 20 gallons. Our goal is not to increase how fuel efficient your athletes are like a cross country runner or a long distance runner. Our goal is to get the gas tank bigger. So we don't wanna make fuel efficient cars with little mini gas tanks. We want your throwers to be like giant diesel trucks. We want big 40, 50 gallon gas tanks and they can pull stuff all day long. So don't think of it like endurance for a distance runner. Think of it that we're getting them more work capacity. We're increasing the size of their gas tank so that they can do more hard, heavy work like that big diesel truck. So without further ado, we're gonna turn it around. Coach Anise is back. We finally have a normal week. So I'm here on a Friday, we're able to shoot this video. He's gonna demonstrate day one and day two. Like last week, if you're on spring break or if for some reason you're indoors because of bad weather and you need a day three, go to the Facebook page and I'll write you a day three workout up there. Okay guys, now as we always say, these are just the exercises. We're not gonna give any sets or reps or anything like that away. These are just exercises. So we're gonna go through these and the order and the sets and the reps and how they're paired together and all that stuff is in the workout that you get for signing up to be a part of the online team. So make sure to go to the link below and get signed up. Coach Anise is gonna start us off with sumo kettlebell deadlifts. You see he drives his knees out wide, spreading the knees with the kettlebells right in between his feet. You can also use dumbbells for this if you don't have kettlebells. You might wanna just prop them up on a couple of 35s or on a couple of boxes. Next exercise we are gonna do is a rope row. Now you might not have ropes, but guaranteed you can set something up in your weight room to be like this. So this is like doing a recline row or a ring row or a TRX row. It's just a heck of a lot more challenging for the grip. We're gonna go through this as part of the workout for today. Now, the next exercise that we are going to do is a chin up. So chin ups, I want the palms facing the athlete. So you can see here, Coach Anise has the palms facing him as he does a pull up. So he's just gonna drive up, chin over the bar. Pretty simple, we've done them in the past, nothing too crazy. All right, next thing we are going to do is a sandbag walking lunge. So if you all don't have sandbags, you can easily make them. Get a 50 pound bag of sand or get a 20 pound bag of uh, wooden pellets for a wood burning stove at Home Depot. Throw it in a gym bag and boom, you have a sandbag. Nothing too crazy. You can find plans online, but we are gonna do sandbag walking lunges Make sure to take a big, big, big step and get that stretch in the hip. All right, the last thing that we are going to do 
are burpees. Now, we don't do the crazy burpees. There's so many different ways. This is more of an old-fashioned gym class uh, squat thrust. So what we're gonna do is hands down, out with the feet, in with the feet, and then stand up. So there's no jump, there's no push up. And you just give me like two or three more. Down, out, in, up. Those of you in the military are probably having some bad recurring memories of these. All right, that's it for day one. Now we're gonna move on to day two. All right, everyone, Coach Matt screwed up. We forgot an exercise. It's the double kettlebell squat. So Anise is just gonna pick the two kettlebells up. You can do these with dumbbells as well. See, he's got them in the front of the body, sitting back, nice straight back, tight stomach, perfect squat form. All right, that takes care of day one. Now we're gonna move on to day two. All right, guys, so one thing you might be noticing here is that we're using some different equipment, some stuff that you might not have in your high school weight room or in the gym that you go to. Just make sure you guys, you can always create different alternatives for these things. For example, if you don't have the ropes that you saw before, you can always use uh, you know, rings or TRX, or you can just get a rope from the hardware store and tie a couple knots in it and use that. Um, you know, If you don't have kettlebells, you can certainly use dumbbells. If you don't have a sandbag, you can just fill up your backpack with a lot of books and do that as well. So you can always be creative and change this up. It doesn't have to be perfect. So Coach Anise is gonna take us through day two. Day two starts with push-ups. Regular old basic push-ups. You cannot screw these up. We wanna see chest down to the ground. Now my thing is, especially with the girls, I would rather see three to four perfect push-ups like this than 12 when they're just kinda of going halfway down and not getting all the way. Make sure they're doing them properly and record how many they do. Next thing that's on the docket is going to be flat dumbbell presses. So real basic dumbbell press, grab something. Again, you'll see that the sets and reps are there in the workout. We're not gonna go crazy heavy because again, this is more work capacity. So the reps are gonna be higher than what you might think. And you can see Coach Anish is banging out some really good looking dumbbell bench press. After that, we have recline rows. It's an old favorite for the online team. Recline rows, we are going to be hanging under the bar, pulling our body up. So sometimes they call these Australian pull-ups. As somebody mentioned, that's because you're down under the bar. Get it? Down under the bar, Australia. All right, so there you go. Real basic recline row. After that, we are going to do a close grip push-up on that same bar. So let's take a look. We've got the hands super duper close. So if you look, you can see the knurling. We have about half the hand on the knurling and about half the hand on the smooth. You wanna basically bring your shoulders down to your hands. So we're just gonna go down, again, all the way to the bar. It's at an incline, so it's pretty simple. You guys are not gonna to have too much difficulty, but if they do, especially some of the girls that have trouble with upper body movements, you just wanna make sure that you raise the bar up a little bit more. Two more exercises left. The first one is a face pull. We're gonna use a band. Again, if you don't have a band, you can use a cable stack with the uh, tricep rope attached, but we're gonna pull it from way up. So we're gonna put it on a pull-up bar and we're gonna pull all the way to our forehead. Pretty simple movement, just make sure to keep the elbows super high. And the last exercise is gonna be using that same band and we're gonna do tricep press downs. Keeping the elbow really, really close to the body. You can see he's like, it's a, almost like Coach Anise is doing a curl. Elbows are tight, just driving the band down. Pretty simple stuff. All the sets and reps are in the workout that you are sent. So make sure if you wanna be part of the online team, this week we actually are gonna be sending week one again along with week two for those who signed up late. So this is the perfect time, kind of a two for one week. Go to the website, get signed up, click the link below.